that's what we want. Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. And in this episode, we're going to go over some shop time that we've spent for upgrades, accessories, and maintenance on Paul's Pro XP. Enjoy, we're putting links up here as well for the products that we've used. Yeah, we started with the lift kit. So yeah. we bought the Super ATV pucks and we put them in the shock. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we had to take the shocks off, send the shocks out in order to get the puck in there. Um, and then he, um, who we sent them to, he rebuilt our shocks, reset our preloads. New seals, new oil. Yeah, he, he basically rebuilt them. Okay. One, one of them I think he actually revalved and the rest he just rebuilt. Okay. When we were so doing that project, we found out that we had a trailing arm that was bad. Okay. So then we ended up starting with trailing arms. So we bought two uh, Super ATV trailing arms. Okay. And then we decided, like, okay, let's ch change our front A arms and let's change our radius rods. So yeah. that's that's what we did. So the front the suspension for the, for the brand, so the brand that you use in the front. Yeah, we did um, um, L and W A arms. Okay. Um, and it was between them and Super ATV, but we don't want L and W because I wanted to keep the red. Okay. And Super ATV can only do it in black for me for this machine. Okay. So the fronts are tubes, and then the backs are. They're, box. they're boxed. Yeah, okay. They're are they L and W as well? They're L and W. Okay. Well. Right. Uh, we did change to two axles on the front. We put Rhino two point on the front. Okay. And so Gary, we everything that had to be done on the front end, you had to take apart the front end. Yes. That meant bumper went uh, bumper winch light had to come out for you yes. to get to those. Not only the shop towers. We got video of you and right. Miguel and. Well, the, the lower part is easy, it's the upper part of getting your hand in to get the bolt off the top of the shot. Okay. That's the hardest part. Okay. So part of the problem was too is that I have a washer, so the tank is in the way too. Right. So we have to disconnect the tank, move the tank back and forth and try to get it in there. Okay. Um, we were thinking there is a plate underneath here that if that plate wasn't there and we were actually thinking if we modified that plate, we would be able to get to the top. I guess the top on top of this. But uh, we got it. We got it without doing that. Uh, yeah. The reason why we didn't do L and W trailing arms is because they don't have high reach. Okay. They're just flat. So you stock. gained an extra inch. Inch. Okay. Similar Flares. to what I'd like to do on the Honda. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and I see you got limit straps. We put limit straps on uh, not because we took the sway bar off, but if we were going to take the sway bar off, we figured that we would probably get a little more droop. Uh, so just to be safe, we put those straps on. Okay. Yeah. Keep the shops from banging. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to run it a little while without the front sway bar and see how it goes. If I don't like it, I'm going to put it back on. Okay. All right. But I could keep the limit straps on no matter what. Okay. Um, and it's pretty much skid plate. Skid plate. So the skid plate is tusk. Tusk. Okay. Yeah, the, the tusk white on it. Three three pieces. That's yeah. Simple. And it fit pretty well. No, no yeah. drill? No drill. Oh, no, we had a drill. Yeah. You used all the factory ones, and then we drilled probably another dozen holes. Okay. Yeah, at least six on each side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sand, sand, sand craft. Sand craft. Okay. Sand craft. That uh, definitely will help out with having stripped out stripped out and and torques and yeah. allens. Yeah. So a lot of those were things that we just kind of added on as we were going, but one of the original things we wanted to do was put a light bar on. And that turned out to be more of a project than we thought, because we had bought brackets that we thought were going to work with Polaris, and they said they would work with the Polaris windshield. And they would work with this windshield, but they don't work with that roof. Okay. So you had to put it in front of us. So Gary uh, actually manufactured and fabbed his own brackets, and it was perfect. So Pol it's a Polaris windshield, a Polaris roof. Polaris aluminum roof, those brackets would have worked great. Right. Well, so we, we didn't want we didn't want it on the roof from where we're at and all the trees and branches. Yeah, and low I, I we really wanted, wanted it lower than plus the going in and out of the trailer. Yeah, uh, you only got so much clearance going in and out of the trailer. So, and we were going up high, so we need to keep everything compact as much yeah. as possible. Well, once we figured out the brackets, it, you know, wiring it up was pretty easy. The thing with this machine is you need to to get to that bus bar. It's best if you. Take the windshield off. Take the. It's, it's the same thing with the Honda. The bus bar yeah. is up on the firewall. You get a razor, razor, uh, turbo S. You can pretty much take this cover off. Pull oh, this right, right, yeah, right, right there. Yeah. Awesome. So we did put a um, a chase light on the back. Right. So we saw that we have video of the chase yeah. light. We yes. have that. That was pretty cool. And the rock lights we uh, did. 
that, that was all that. That wiring was pretty tough. Yeah. Um, but Gary worked with the manufacturer and uh, got all the yeah. phone with me. Yeah, no, we, we, and kind we, of the, the lip ones, ones are top notch. Yeah. We like those. Yeah, but this shit's coming great. And I think, what do you think? We got, we were at 12, and we're probably up to about 17. So we probably down four to five inches of increase height. Nice. Any challenges you want to talk about, Gary? On, other than the placement of the bolts and the tightness, any challenges of, we had a we had an axle puller for getting the old ones out, no challenges, any other? Yeah, I, make sure you have an axle puller. We did wheel bearings, uh, just because we're pushing 1,500 miles, and we had it all apart. So it's just easier to do it when you have it all apart. Um, and you what, were they, what were they, what, what bearings and uh, ball joints? I was gonna say, the ball joints we did was Keller. Was, uh, Keller bolt. Keller's got a lifetime manufacturer warranty on them. Um, the only thing you're probably ever going to break on them is the boots. So the wheel bearing brand was all balls. They were yeah. all balls. Okay. Yeah. And then we had the we had the Trail Kings press press, which we already did the video for that on. You still need a shop press though. Right. That's just a tool. To yeah. Make and, it a lot and, and with the and with the what we had to press into the arms, we didn't have enough. You need a small die to press that in. That is not st stock standard. Right part of uh, a normal bearing press kit. Okay. Right. So we, we fashioned something, but normally I guess that's something we could, that somebody would have to buy. Yeah. It's very, a very narrow die mm -hmm. or whatever metal piece to push that front uh, front piece yes. in. Yeah, because uh, the colors, you got to put the collar in. You got to press the collar in. Yeah. And then that always stays there all the time. You, the, the color ball joints are just unscrewed. Right. And those are those are be much easier for field change, and you have spares that you're carrying with you, Doc. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah we're, we're taking spares. Okay. Just in case we have a Josh moment. <laughs> in exactly. Out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Cool. So what? We had trouble with the hubs. Where were they seized? Uh, yes, that's from not greasing. Yeah. So again, back to yeah. um, fluids and grease everything that you can. Yes. Yeah. The the inner race actually sealed to the hub. Good. That's what it did. But, and we put new brakes on. New yeah. brakes, and those were uh, EVC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. EVC, same thing that we oh, used yeah. on the. So it was it it turned into a good project. It was maintenance and upgrade at the same time. Yep. And once again, big thanks, Keith, letting us. Yes. Do the work here. We Absolutely. appreciate it. And all our sponsors, you know, that helped us. Uh, yeah. L and W. How many times did we call them? It was the wrong color. Right. I make sure you order the right color. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's indie red. Yeah. <laughs> it's not performance red. It's indie red. Nice. Uh, and and Trumbauer's, Polaris. So you know we ordered. Yeah, we ordered parts from them. Uh, a couple new hubcaps and, and stuff to. It's a good yeah. project. All right. Thank you guys. We'll sure. Thank you. What do we say? We'll see you out there on the trail. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it only comes out a little bit. You take the, that side off first and then swing it, and the other side will come off. Do you Remember we learned that on mics? Yeah. Did you say you need the C clamp, Gary? No. no. no.